So what is 2019 going to bring us in the stars? It is going to bring changes in all of our lives because the eclipse cycle has changed from the Leo Aquarius axis where it has been since February of 2017 to the Cancer Capricorn axis. And wherever that is in your chart is where you will take conscious steps in over this year to bring about whatever it is that you need to make you feel safe and secure um, and, and, and to build on those foundations. So whatever house it's in says where that energy is going to manifest. For okay. Capricorns, the sign that we are in, because the sun has just entered Capricorn, it is going to be in their seventh house of partners and intimate one-to-one -one relationships and open enemies. And it's kind of hard to tell right up front who is going to be home, but I know that their partnerships are going to change over this year. Um, their one-to-one -one relationships are going to change over this year. And, and the Capricorn has to realize that their partners have feelings too, and it's okay to to take them into account, that kind okay. of thing. For Aquarians, this energy is in the sixth house of work, health, and responsibilities. And Aquarians are shifting from that, in, from those interpersonal one-to-one -one relationships to working on where it is they do their job. Not necessarily the job that they do, but where it is they do that job and who it is they do that job with. That will be changing over the next year or so. And again, it's designed to, to release the Aquarian from a narrow and inhibiting circumstance regarding their work. I don't know whether something gets out of their way or... But for one way or another, by the end of this, by the end of 2019, there's a clear-cut path for them to proceed professionally. For Pisces, it's about how much fun can I have in a year? And I don't think I've ever, ever, ever been able to say that. For Pisces, finally, the universe is cutting them the break that they have been waiting for for the last six or seven years or so. So children, sports, amusements, pleasures, love, all of those areas that may have been deficient in the Pisces life overflow in 2019. So of all the signs, they're the ones that are going to have the most fun in 2019. For Aries, not so much. They need to deal with matters at home. There are profound changes going on in their home where they live, the area around their home. Um, and, and as a result of that, there can be some professional change as well. And I don't know whether the Aries is going to start to work more out of their home, um, but home and professional lives are very important to the Aries in 2019 and to make positive changes there that they started in June um, and July that they come to be in 2019. For Tauruses, their life eases tremendously. The pace of their day-to-day -day living finally slows down to something they can manage. The last three years um, have been very difficult on Taurus, because they just haven't, they were used to having this freedom of motion and then it got cut off. And they had overwhelming responsibilities. Well, those all fade in 2019. And Taurus kind of gets their life back in a lot of ways. And, and they're free to literally move around the country. Their schedule gets down to something that they can manage. Which, I think I know a wife. That would, I, you yeah, know what I was thinking? Really As I was reading that, that, I was thinking, oh, who do I know that would finally mm -hmm. like to get their own life back? And, yeah. And then they do, which is a great thing. For Geminis, this energy is in their second house of money, um, and it's all about making more money. It's about increasing the amount of money you have at the end of the month. It's about maximizing existing resources, capitalizing on existing resources. But the truth is, Gemini, you're going to have to earn this money yourself. And the universe will give you plenty of opportunities to, in January and then to again in July, to make those changes so you have more money at the end of your month rather than more month at the end of your money. For Cancers, this is a sign that this, this eclipse cycle has just moved into. Um, and it's important for the United States because we are a Cancer born on the 4th of July. Um, and it's about the Cancer asserting their rights in a relationship. They are the ones that they are looking out for, which sounds pretty good for making America great again. Um, mm -hmm. That's what that sounds like to me. Um, but it also means that um, they will take a hard look at their partners and make sure that that partner is, is towing the mark and bringing something to the relationship other than just lip service. It's a matter of, and it's the cancer that's going to get what the cancer wants and the cancer needs. Okay. For Leos, it's a good time to take a step back of sorts. They have achieved a raft of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives over the last 10 or 12 years or so. And now it's time just to kind of let all of that settle down to something they can manage. It's not a good time to go forward with plans, although over the last few years they have advanced their own interests. It's a good time just kind of to sit back not press too hard on the universe um, and allow it a new work structure to evolve inside of it. But it will take two full years to do so. Don't try and rush it, Leos. For Virgos, this energy is in the 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. And Virgos get to achieve a long-standing dream and they're going to do it through the help of their well-placed friends and colleagues. And, it, and the idea to me is that they could take something that is very creative, something unique to them, um, and, and help to bring that to life, to help them get what it is that they say that they want in 2019. 
for Libras, whose energy is in the 10th house of career and public standing, Libras have to be really, really careful not to pick sides until they know which way the professional breeze is blowing. It's a good time um, to listen to what the bosses say and say, sure, I'll be happy to do that with you because the emphasis is on professional um, issues and, and career matters. And I don't think they can do anything overtly to make it better. So it's a matter of really something that they're not going to do that will bring them a lot more success than what they do do. So I know that's pretty enigmatic. And then for Scorpios, it is in the ninth house of the law. Legal matters, educational matters, important matters at a distance, contracts, negotiations, all go very favorably for the Scorpio. And then for Sagittarius, the last time we're going to talk about, it's about the money. It's about other people's resources flowing your way. I don't think that the money, the money faucet turns on for them immediately, but the steps that they take during the first eight months of the year will pay off financially for them during the last four or five months of the year. And that's what they want to keep their eye on, that long-distance prize about making more money. So tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. And to everybody, I wish you the happiest of New Year's. Absolutely. Happy New Year to you. Yay! See you next week and we'll pick it up. I will see you next week.